Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we don't end up with a single number when we're trying to evaluate a summation symbol like this, especially when there's variables involved for which we don't know the value. Here's an example. We need to sum up this where i goes from 1 to 3. So there's going to be three terms because it's a summation. We're going to add them up. But notice we have the variable x in there and we don't know the value for x, so we are going to end up with three separate terms. Again, in each case, we're going to replace every i, there's one, two, three of them, by first the number one, then the number two, and then number three in each of the three terms. So for the first term, this becomes the quantity minus one raised to the first power times x to the first power divided by one. Plus, now we have the second term, so we have negative one raised to the second power, x to the second power divided by two. And then finally, plus negative one to the third power, x to the third power divided by three. So you can see that, yes, you will end up with three separate terms, because in each case, x has a different exponent. So this becomes negative one to the first power is negative one times x divided by one, which is simply minus x. Here, negative one squared becomes positive, so there we get plus x squared divided by two, and here we have a negative again, negative x cubed divided by three and let me rewrite that there we go cube and so this is the result we're looking for we end up with three separate terms minus x plus x squared over two and minus x cubed over three and that is how it's done